Welcome back, Mr. Gomez. Thank you. Mr. Gomez, you are still under oath. You are reminded that you are still under oath. Before we went on the break, you told us about the case that you handled as first class magistrate at Kanifing Magistrate Court. You told the Commission about the fears you had in this matter because of the interference of the executive. And the interest that they had in this matter. We stopped at the point where you were telling us about proceeding with the matter. And hearing about the charge on rash and or negligent act causing death. Can you continue to tell this commission what happened in that matter? Yes, thank you very much for having me back. Uh, Jerry Jeff, uh, in continuation, I continue. Uh, continue. Uh, I'm the matter proceeded um, smoothly. Uh, I'm the continue to the matter proceeded smoothly. In fact, if I recall well, we were having the matter at a speedy um, rate. And so um, when, the, when, the, when the prosecutor closes its case, Mr. Gomez, before you proceed, you've just indicated that the matter was moving quickly. Yes. Was that due to the interference or just the efficiency of your court? In fact, I, I have just seen I have just seen the executive directive you've showed me in um, during this this um, proceedings. The first time. Um, at, at the time that the case was um, was called, um, usually I, um, I hear all my cases in a very speedy manner. And sometimes, um, especially where you have um, the accused person being rep represented by counsel, it is common practice that they will want to take multiple dates. So no, it was not as a, as, as a matter of interference. But the dates were being agreed by the parties. Thank you. Thank you. You may continue. Yes, um, so when um, the defense also opened and closed the case. And then the court was addressed. So um, the court took a date for judgment. And um, I recall delivering the judgment on the, the, on the next adjourned date. Wherein I um, found the, the, the the accused person at the time who uh, was a driver of the taxi to have, um, to, to, to have not been guilty of the offence as charged. I concluded that that um, he was responsible for the death of the victim based on the evidence led and that in my judgment it was clear that the, um, the death was being caused by, by the military personnel at the time and so I couldn't have arrived at any, um, any other decision but to just acquit and discharge the, the accused person at yes so you may continue. Yes. So um, when I delivered the judgment, uh, I went home as usual. Manibi. Continue with my private life. Uh, I recall um, in the evening going to see a friend. 
fatale kuna ci ngon gi bi may dem seti suma ben xarit um who happens to be um, a lawyer now but apparently a lost at the time ci temen jamanu ji loyal te jamanu bu dal ku don jang yefi loyal yes one one james mendy ku ñu xamé james mendy so um in the evening around 8 or 8 pm or there about ci ngon gi ci bori jurom ñetti waxtu yi ci guddi my my dad called me yes mo papa call ma and asked where i was laaj ma fan la nek and i said i was with my friend ci la ko wone ma ngi suma xarit bi but i'm about to come back home way na ma ngi ñi bisi and then he said to me munema that um they they notice um a vehicle around the around the um around the um around the compound eh dañ gis ben auto ci bori keer gi i had no number plate te amul nak number but it was tinted eh te auto bu ñu la do nekke ci bi bi ti do gis ki nekk ci bir and so they were worried eh te jaal jaax le nay but i said to them that well it could be it could be any vehicle ci la le wax apa na nekk auto bu ne rek and so may, maybe they were just worried because of um because of the fact that um they were scared of what might happen eh li len jaxlo le bo de ko ne pour ñu xam nak lan moy wara xew me at the Thomas, time yes is it that because at this time your father was aware of the judgment you had delivered earlier in the day ndax jamanu bobu sa papa xamon nan dogal bi nga xamne mom nga jelu ci bis bobu Yes because um at some point he will he used to come um and attend court proceedings even though I was really against that. Uh, uh wow lego leg daf da ñew sax tew ci sumay court way tax jam le nek na mbir mo xamne dal duma dan neex dama ko dan dingat. He must have been proud of you. On dafa melni mom ku la dan pugare wu la. Yes coming from a very humble background yes he was proud of me for the fact that I I actually um I happen to be a lawyer after so many years of struggle. Yes. Wow, comme rek ci fiñ baye ko rek nga xamne ni dal pougaro na ma nek na lawyer ci ay ad yu bari. Can you tell the commission why he was worried that he saw a vehicle hanging around? Di nga wax commission bi lan mo taxone sa papa jaxle won bi nga xamne ni gis na moto bu ñuul bobu amul ben nombre plate di wona lu sen bori ker. I think it was common knowledge that anyone who lived in the Gambia at the time ya nekkon nak lo xamne ñepp ko xamone fi kep ko xamne ya ngi ci rewi gambia um would be very much aware of uh, the activities of the security force at the time ah uh, kam nga nak yengatu yengatu yi nga xamne ni ñi yengu ci wali karangi ñu ng ko lan def and in fact um during the course of this trc i'm sure um there are so many testimonies regarding what um happened to so many people at the time eh te gis na ci togay trc bi amna yu bari yo xamne netali nañ ko fi ci lan am allegations of of unlawful detention and unlawful um of torture and so on so forth to my the lo xamne ni na mu ngi jëm ci japp tek ben place te depot tak yoon ak metital yo xamne depot tak yoon whether they were true or not but then these were um these were daily occurrences that that were happening within the society at the time mo xam deug la wala deug dal way li na moy yi nga xamne ne mo dan xew ci suñ bir jamono bobu as in people were talking about it ndax nit ñi ñu ngi ko dan lam lamé and so it is so natural that people will naturally be afraid whenever they see um these kind of situations because um because a vehicle with tinted glass and no number plate is usually associated with the security forces at the time ah ndax nak dana nek jamono bo xamne ni de ni ñi jamono nañ di ragal lu mel nonu ndax auto bo xamne ni auto bu amul number plate la te wéri dañ ñuul so nekké ci biti do gis ki nekké ci bir ah lu bari dal dañ la wané auto ñi yëngu ci wali karangé la continue tell the commission the conversation you continued to have with your father on the phone e galil nak waxal commission bi waxtani nga xamne mom nga don waxa sa papa yes so my point was was very clear that it could have been any vehicle ah tuma kaddu nak lu wer la won wax na len ni la mu na nek auto bu ne rek and so maybe they were just imagining things eh tay tay ben bo dal ke dañ ne ñu ngi xalaat ay yenen i wanted to come back home but then my mother just picked up the phone from my dad eh bugon na ñew nak waye suma yaay jël téléphone bi ci suma papa and then uh, with the very strict voice that I should stay where I was and spend, and spend the night there uh ci ci ay cadeau mune ma dal fim nek fa nga mune nek fa nan fa yes and and go ahead. so at this point you're telling us that your parents were scared for your safety bon jamono bobu da fa melni sa way juri yep ñu ngi ragalon dal sa mbir karange de wea de wa de ragalon nañ kay and they asked you to stay where you were legi nak ñu ne nga dess dal fa nga xamne fa nga nekkon Yes I even spent the night where I went to uh, just to see my friend for for la finance for my dek for my demon set is my ben xarit Can you tell the commission whether you were worried for your safety ndax di nga mëna commission bi ndax yow tamit jaxle won nga sawar li karange 
I was because, um, in fact, uh, mainly b based on the fact that you live with your family and they are constantly worried about your safety. Ah, jahle ona na nekak sa njobo njomi teme njom nju jahle lulo lujem tisa wale karange. So you cannot avoid thinking about your own safety as well. Ah, munulo nyaka nek de kalat sa karange yoi teme. Whether it is justifiable or not, but you cannot still avoid. Ah, mo kam na luwe lwa luwe lwa dal foxi renga nek de kokelat. Were you worried about the safety and security of your parents and your family? Yes, because I would have preferred to be um, at the house. So that if there are worries were real, then I would have been the one to face um, the consequences. So the answer is yes. You have told the commission that you had to end up spending the night at your friend's house. Yes, that's correct. Can you tell us what happened after that? So I um, spent the night there and then um, woke up in the morning. I rushed to my um, the house. I dressed up to go to work. And by the time the driver had already arrived. So I um, went um, to, to work. Madam Then I, while I was in the courtroom administering over cases. So the registrar of the court at that time, one Ramatulai, I forgot the last name. I also saw her walking towards me in the courtroom. I. Uh, uh, that was very, very normal to do. Because as the registrar of the court, sometimes they will have very vital information to, to convey. But on this day, I knew that it, well, I, I had the, 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 the sense that um, something might have gone wrong somewhere. So she came and told me that I was needed at, at Banjul. Um, immediately. That the CJ had requested my presence um, in his office immediately. Ne Chief Justice Dal Ajona put Madam Chief Officer um, Sisasi. Can you confirm who was still the CJ at that time? Um, this was Emmanuel Fakbele. Wow, can you have Emmanuel Fakbele? Yes, um, so I told the register at the time. That I will complete my cases. And then um, go to Banjul and see the CJ. And she said, no, no, the CJ, the CJ said that it's very urgent and you must um, suspend or adjourn all your cases and, and then go to Banjul and see him. So I, I adhered to the um, instruction. I joined all the cases. And I drove to Banjul. Banjul. So I um I went in the reception. Madam si reception before. And I announced my presence um there. But then I had to wait for, for a very long period of time. Before my presence would be requested in the CJ's office. So but then um the reason was that why not um, the chief just at the time was waiting for the judicial secretary um, who was landing Sane. It's currently a high court judge. Currently a high court judge. Um, he was the judicial, judicial secretary at the time. Mr. Gomez? Yes. Up to that point, do you know why there was a request for you to report to the CJ's office? Mr. Gomez, the Oh, yes. I had no prior. Um, information like direct information as to why I was called but no, I had no direct information um, as to why I was called they didn't tell me as to why I was called but I knew at the time it was based on the prior judgment I, uh, judgment I gave, I gave um, the, the earlier day so definitely um, it was not um, I was not in doubt as to why I was um, sanctioned was this a normal practice for magistrates to be sanctioned to the office of the CJ? When delivering a judgment that was of an interest to the state? At the time, yes. At the time, um, 
most of our colleagues would be called by the Chief Justice. Chief Justice for decisions that were taken in court. That the Chief Justice thinks in one way or the other is erroneous. Yeah, for how many Chief Justice be a gist na dal amna lu sekajem. And so, um, when I sat on the bench, all of my colleagues at the time. Yeah, the time binga how many mangi ne keti bunte atebo chuma naule yep. Were in one way or the other worried about um this um um this the the situations with the. Mungi jale on chie ne kheu kheu yinga how many yola am. They were worried about the interferences. Yes, that's correct. Well, no. Continue to tell the commission what happened when you got to the CJ's office. So, um, like I said earlier on, when um, the CJ was waiting for the master of the high court, who was the late um, the late Buba Jawa. And then judicial secretary landing sane, uh, high court judge. Uh, ko judicial secretary landing sane. So when they came, uh, you in I was asked to go in. Uh, so I went and I inside the office and I found the C CJ sitting and together with the with the JS and the and the master of the high court. So I came and then they asked me to sit down. So I sat down and then the the chief at the time just rose. And then he said, um, you know, I want to ask you to sit down. Yes, I want to ask you to sit down. Yes, I want to ask you to sit down. Yes, I want to ask you to sit down. Yes, I want to ask you to sit down. Yes, I want to ask you to sit down. Yes, I want to ask you to sit down. Yes, I want um, all most of the newspapers had already published um, the, the the outcome of the of the case, the judgment. So he was not pleased at all. So he started telling me that look look what you have done. See the headlines in, in all these newspapers. Was like uh, yes. As per your statement. You said the CJ was furious. Is that correct? That's correct. Can you describe his reaction to you on that day? Yes, because he was trying to um, blame me for delivering a very erroneous judgment. And that, um, as far as he's concerned, the judgment is totally wrong. Right. How can I um, acquit the driver in that circumstance? When he could have only stopped and he failed to stop. And, and therefore, um, um, he had to answer calls from above. And, and that I had put him in a very funny situation. When he said he was receiving calls from above, do you know what he meant with that? Well, um, when it comes to um, Fagbele saying that, yes, I, I, I assume that he was, um, he was referring to the office of the president. I could not, um, I, I couldn't, I could not, I could not, neither confirm the, the, the information nor deny it at the time. But that was his position. Continue about the meeting in the office. Yes, um, so he continued ranting. Um, blaming me and then telling me that um, now, um, how will the international community see this? So we all keep, keep keeping quiet, myself and the master of the high court and the JS at the time. Because mainly I did not see any reason, um, any, any reason as to why I should reply to us or make a comment as to what he was saying. But then, worst of all, he now sat down and started telling me, like in, in very derogatory um, terms. I, I felt it was more or less like I'm um, um, drawn towards embarrassing me, making uh, me feel bad. Telling me um, that you don't even understand your the law on, on, on negligence. 
because if you understand law, law or negligence, you wouldn't have arrived at the station. But I was still I was still keeping quiet. And he said to me that um, well, tell me what your your opinion is as to the law of negligence. But then I knew that um, he was waiting for it was more like a trap. Because he was waiting for me to give him an answer so that he can bank on that. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, try to assert his position that indeed my 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 legal reasoning was totally wrong. Thus, I arrived at that decision. So, I, at, at the beginning, I refused to give an answer. He pressed and pressed and pressed, and then I, I offered an answer. Then, then he said to me, Look, um, see, Master, JSC, see what I have told you. Um, he doesn't even understand um, his law of negligence. So, I said to him, Well, I think I've finished my legal education. And um, at the moment I was not going to school. And so he was free to have his own opinion as to what the law is. But my reasoning at the time is, is what I used to arrive at the judgment. It could be wrong. It could be correct. But until it is tested, it remains to be the position. And so therefore, if um, what the party, what an aggrieved party could have done is to appeal. I was just at the bottom of the hierarchy. I said to them they could go all the way to, to the Supreme Court. And then and then um, he didn't like the response. Why not turn to so he, he asked the master or, uh, and the JS whether they have any comment. Um, the master um, made a comment. Master in, um, agreeing with the CJ. Uh, CJB. That the reasoning was wrong. I was surprised. Um, because I had met with the master just immediately. I had I, just as at the time I was um, present over the case. Within the court, within the high court premises, high court. And he had made comments that, um, um, Mr. Gomez, uh, your worship, I, I understand you are the one handling the file, the uh, case. These soldiers, they, they, they went and killed the, the, the taxi driver and then none, sorry, the, the victim, and now they are blaming on the taxi driver. The soldier, the soldier, I even recall telling him that, ah, jokingly, are you interfering with the matter? And then he said no. So for him to now um, have a total departure of opinion, it was really surprising. <coughs> But not that much because I expect at the time as well people were really um, taking decisions based on um, um, so many factors. One of which is to safeguard their their, their jobs and their positions. Why jahle bi nak dem jegu ton dayo sa nda kamo na ni jamo dobo ni nyange deflo kamne pur mana musal sen bo porek ag mana tahau si sen to sen to si sen si si lige kai. The the judicial secretary um, as well made a comment. The uh, judicial secretary moment ame wah aikado. But he um, wouldn't criticize my judgment. I recall he, he told the CEO that, that people have different, um, different opinions in, in, in various, um, various cases. And yes, but and the meeting went on at some point. Why not meeting with them? Be any jamano. I was asked to go out of the office. And you, you, you get them at the office, be. Wait for um to to wait for them to 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 have deliberation. Yeah, put na nyom nyu dali agale be na kado nyomit. I did that. I was called at some point in time back in the office. Yeah, mene na madeflo put nyu oan mal be any jamano. So I was asked uh, to go to go to go back to my office. So you want na nyibi to my office. And then they will get back to me when when they need me. Yeah, then I just call man chai buni masohla. So I went back to the office. Madam, to office be. So once in a while they will be um, I'll be called to Banjul. Lego leg in your mama dem Banjul and to answer to the CJ. Eh pour oyu the CJ chief justice bi. But for the most part in fact I will be in Banjul and I will sit at the reception for a very long period of time. 
Il est open à des gens qui ont été toxiques, des réceptions, des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Sans avoir vu le CJ. Et à un moment donné, j'ai demandé à faire des copies de la judgement et puis à faire des copies de la judgement. Je vais vous dire que 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 je Dah nyu buka wah ne dah jadang, oh perangga uji office chief justice, ni kli kawar rek mau dogal binga hamne mum gajil. Very correct. Can you tell the commission about how many times you were called to the CJ's office? Nyu mna commission benyata yon ni la oh office chief justice. This would be um about three or four times, but apparently I only met the CJ once. Li muna ne kenyata benyenti yon, wah nak beni yon regla si jaka lok chief justice. Which was the day immediately after the judgment. Li mau bes binga hamne ni mau chief si bima defe dogal bo. But the subsequent times, when Chilinga came to me, I was there. As I stated earlier, I would be there for 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 a very long period of time without even seeing him. Sometimes I will see the the JS who will call me and ask me to go home. Yes. So. Can you tell this commission what happened next? Yes. I later on at some um at some point I. I received a call from the JS. Ghana Lulu, my judge, not telephone. But you go to the JS. I I could not tell the timeline between the judgment and the call, but it 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 would have been a month or two because I was eventually transferred. Yeah, Munu ma wah nak dir bina kala tolu digan tebi ma ate ak bin ma call. Why Munu ne kisi dir ab biar wala nyari wen dah jamanu bo sa tohal nengma. Yes, so the JS called me and then um asked me to come to his office. JS nak call man nema madam to office am. And then when I went to see him, um, he said to me that well, um, he knows that I am not, I'm no longer in good terms with the with the chief justice. And as far as he's concerned, he's he's worried about the relationship, uh, the relationship that, that was really getting sour by the day. And in his words, he wants to he will transfer me. Outside the jurisdiction. Magen na ti jurisdiction bo ti berabio yu. That is not. Um, he will not even take me to Banjul or Bundung or Birkama. Ne dal du mayo busa ay Banjul Bundung wala Birkama. But I will be transferred to um to 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 oversee to be a travelling magistrate. Eh, pun mana kena magistrate boh kami ni dah mai doh di tahu. Which is um I will oversee SAO Farafanya and Mansa Kongko. Kami ni dah dem SAO Farafanya and Mansa Kongko. So I didn't say anything. Wah kuma dara. I thank him um for his um. For for the intervention, as far as he was concerned, he intervened in the matter. Ma gerem kona glol chilinga kame nola chidugale lo kama timbir momo. I took the I took the transfer letter. Ma gerem na transfer letter bi. Went back to Kanifin and handed over my office to the principal magistrate. Dem Kanifin na jebale suma office si principal magistrate bi. And I subsequently assumed assumed my my functions at at this new jurisdictions. Ma kuma asen ak suma ligay ti juridik so anti nga hamne ni mom fin matohal. Mr. Gomez, can you tell the commission how you felt about this transfer? Mr. Gomez, na mun gawa commission bebe ni matohal e no no na ko lo yegon. Um, even though the the JS at the time gave me his own reason as to why I was transferred. Na mum sa JS bi mo wah na managlan mo tahon ni matohal ma. Um, my own reasoning was that. Man suma kelati bo pu mo ne kone. I was transferred because um, I, I was currently working in a jurisdiction wherein so many high profile cases may may come to. Moi rek ne dal mangi ligue fi bire bo xamne ni muna am tefar yu ko yo xamne mun nañ fa aksi and so the chief of justice at the time um, um, wouldn't want me to actually um, serve as a hindrance towards towards um, 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 his interest. Tak boleh achieve jauh sebab dibuka mai lagi for kami ni mana dok digan tiap aksoh lah jom film nak. So that is the main reason why I I was transferred. Lul nak mahu tahu nyutal lima tohal. And so it was more of a punishment to me. Dah nak dal many dah macam tohal nunu. The normal administrative procedure. Ni anam yo kami ni jauh way lagi way lagi. Because I was the only one transferred at that time. Nah man rek lain tohal nanti zaman obu. And if you worked at the judiciary back then, you will understand that I'm usually there are periods where in magistrates are being transferred and and separated from 
in different courts eh tay tay man gis na tay amna jamono dir bo xamne ni magistrate dañ len toxal ci digante ay nya ay code yu bokut yes thank you i was actually going to ask for you to explain that to the commission o adamal doon bu ga laaj pour nga xamal commission bi lolu but you have said it beautifully that at that time you were the only magistrate who was transferred way leelan nga ko nak ne yo kenn rek yaayo magistrate bi nga xamne toxalon nañ la ci anam yoyu however you've also stated in your statement be legi nak wax nga ci sa cadeau yi ñu binda ne that there was an issue with the judgment after you had delivered it ne dogal bob nga xamne mom nga jelo ndey amon na lo xamne mo ci topon can you explain to the commission bi ñu mëna waxal lool commission bi am kadi 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 kan ko magen please in your statement ci cadeau yi nga binda You have referred to the fact that the judgment was forwarded to the Ministry of Justice for scrutiny. Yes. Wax nga ne lool dogal bobu nga jël dañ ko yobbu ci liggéey ka bi nga xamne moy kilifa gijité walé atté gi pour mu sétat ko. Yes. Um before I before I um jump onto that I would want to clarify the issue of the transfer as well. Ah bala ma ag fo na fam luma bëgg léral ci toxal gogu. I said earlier I was the only magistrate who was transferred at the time. Té dama waxone né ci ngël bén né man rek ma nekkon magistrate bo xamné né toxal nañ la. But then when they transferred me there was already a magistrate who was overseeing naturally um, um those jurisdictions. Yeah, why bin ma transfer né amon na magistrate bo xamné ni mo doon baye xel nak place yoyu. But then I was the reason um for the for the transfer so naturally he will have to come down so that I can go and assume um office. Yeah, ndax ndax man ma wara lon toron toxu bo kon vox mu ñew eh be dal di jël place ma doora dem fele. Yes. Mr. Gomez in other words you're trying to explain that your transfer was unique. Yes, very well. It was very very unique. Manam liko liko consul laj mo nek ne dal ca toxal bobu ben la ci masam mu ne waaw and that the transfer was done to stop you from listening to cases that had an, that the government had an interest in ci lolu jublu way bi taxaw ñu toxal la yeb moy ne pour bul jité ci ay layo yo xamné dal ngour gi president bi amon na ci aajo lolu i will say it was done um, to stop me from listening to cases that at the time the chief justice had interest in because i will now come to that at the tail end of my explanation um, wherein i will explain the 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 different type of interference there is a direct indirect and the perceived one so um this at that point in time i was dealing directly with the chief justice so things that are of government interest to him at the time knowing fakbele these were things that he has personal interest in because he was there to safeguard his own interest uh, eh pour nak ci jamono bobu nonu moy li nga xamne ni mom la ajol mom fakbele ignore_time_segment_in_scoring ci la yeg nak ne file bi ubi won nañ ko ci ag chamber bi and when files are opened um at the ag chamber they are usually assigned to a council bu fekke ne ne ubi nañ ko ci ag chamber bi dañ koy assign nak ben lawyer who will now write an opinion regarding whether um if it's an appellate matter you will write an opinion regarding whether there are grounds of appeal or not bu fekke ne luñ wara d'appel la dana wax nan de amna anam go xamne tax ñu war ko d'appel so the lawyer who was assigned this file his name is one um ibrahim jaita eh ki nga xamne lawyer bi nga xamne mom lañ joxon na file bo ku ku xamne ibrahima djeta la currently um i think at some point worked for the um gambian diplomatic mission in in new york eh jamono ji sax mu ngi togal nak rew wi gambia eh ci new york so um he wrote an, an opinion and, well he informed me directly so this are um this a direct conversation well amna wax jo wax direct bo xamne wax na ko ak man so he informed me that he was assigned to write an opinion regarding the file ne dañ ko jox ndigal ne na na bind nak li nga xamne mo nekkon opinion ci wali file bobu which at the phase of it is very normal because if the state is not satisfied with the judgment they can just appeal and this is the procedure to follow di lo xamne nak jaadu na ne bo xeme ne nguur gi dal doy lo wu dogal man nañ ko d'appel and then but then his his decision was that there are, there are no grounds of appeal eh way nak mom li bi ne mo nekk ne amu dal dara lu waral pour ñu dal ko d'appel and the dpp at the time i believe is one barkoun eh tay tay nak dpp bi mom jamono joju moy barkoun i i understand that um um his superiors i think barkoun was not satisfied with the um with the addition um in the beginning eh ci ndel ben yakana ja barkoun moy tay men doy lo wuton dogal bobu and he had um opined that um they can assign same to another council for an opinion 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring Talkless of the CJ's office. So he said to me in the meeting that um, that the CJ was not pleased with that and because Barkun had told the CJ that well um, the lawyer who wrote the opinion is here and then he said that there, there are no grounds of appeal. And that one and Barkun said that the lawyer be bindi ne dal amu dara lo hamne ne dalil la punyar ko dapel mungini. And that the CJ was was very was not pleased and was saying that well um, you know this 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 young young magistrates or lawyers they, they didn't follow instructions. That if you have an opinion um, about the about case, and your senior instructs you to do something different, you should just follow your senior's that the directions because um, he knows best. He and then, yes, so that was my um, that was the information I, I gathered from this Mr. Jaita. Uh, and then the prosecutor indicates as well. Uh, Mr. At some point, he also informed me uh, that he was asked to write um, to write a report regarding um, the, the, the the circumstances surrounding the judgment. And and that, that, and that um, had he done so, I would have been arrested perhaps. And that he declined to do that. He told them that they should um, appeal the matter if they, if they want to appeal the matter. They should just forward the file to the judge's office. Mr. Gomez, can you tell this commission why the CJ, Fakbele at the time, had such a great interest in this case? Wow, uh, Mr. Gomez, the Hadinga Muna wa uh, Commission be fee Lan Mota Habe, CJ, be Chief Justice Bobu Don, and Fat Bella Jamano Bobu. Lan Mota Hon Mo Ajo won Lolchi Ate Bobu. Um, if you know uh, Fat Bella at the time, Bokame Fat Bella Tiwatu, you will know that this was um, a Chief Justice. Yeah, Danga Hamne Ki Jamano Chief Mo Chief Justice Abokamne, who was highly political. Kohamne, therefore, Dugal Bopom Siwali Politic Torop. And I'm saying this uh, uh, um, as a first-hand uh, first information. Uh, because I had worked on him. And so um, this was a man who would just wear political caps as well. In fact, he would even direct that at, at his time, he would even, even direct that, um, ju that um, names be sent, name of support staffs be sent um, to his office for those who are interested in to go and farm for the president. So um, it, it was normal for anyone to support any political party. Normal yeah, nak Some of us um, voted for the. Some of us, I mean, all Gambians voted for the um, former administration at that time. Am Gambian, but the, the, the doctrine of the independence of the judiciary, I believe, was very sacrosanct. Why not? Linga hamne ni moe sagotek ligay buntu ligay kai ate kai bi na neko na lo hamne lo am solola. And so he should have been seen to be very independent. Tete man waro na inko gis neko hamne ni kui dohak sagomla. And and like I said, not only be independent, but to be seen to be independent. Neko re na ne dafa waro neko kui dohak sagom why na ni ni waro na nyoham ne kui kui dohak sagomla. As this is what will draw confidence from the public. And when they have confidence in the independence of the judiciary, um, this will promote um, um, the rule of law.
And the natural outcome will be you will have a very stable country, of course. Therefore, Mr. Gomez, you are telling this commission that the CJ then, Mr. Fakbele, allowed his political role to influence the decisions he would make in his office that was to be independent. Yes, because if you if you call me, I will just take myself as an example. If you call me and and tell me and attack my judgment based on the fact that you feel your 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 boss or or the executive uh, is not pleased with the judgment. It it it's clear indication that you are allowing yourself to be politically influenced. Whether you are directed to, to act in that, that way or you are doing it in your own volition is still an, is still interfering. Mr. Gomez, is it correct for the CJ to perceive that the president is his boss? Mr. Gomez, the judge and the chief justice will give the president be my boss. Um, that is a very tricky question. Um, as lawyers, we will say it's not correct. Because we serve the public. And the three arms of government, of course, the executive, judiciary, and um, and the legislation. The 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 um, even though there should be checks and balances, but then, especially the judiciary, it should be absolutely independent. Uh, and there are reasons as to why the judiciary should be independent, absolutely. You don't even have to be... Uh, a lawyer to even know as to why it should be independent. Because here you have a body that is supposed to adjudicate fairly without partiality that and um, without fear or favor. So if you see yourself as serving um, an other body or institution it is cj to see himself as um, having a boss who is the president that will um, that, that may um, to a great extent influence the decisions but again um, um, privately one may say that yes because um, as per our current constitution um, is the is the president who hires and fires um, the cj even though they are procedurally done for it even though there are proceed, legal procedures guidelines written for it. So I hope I answered your question. You definitely answered the question. Thank you. And you answered it when you did say that. As we understand it as lawyers. The office of the CJ should be independent. Office of Chief Justice, that for our and not be answerable to the president. president right. Sir Gomez, from what you have just said, Sir Gomez, you're telling this commission that under the watch of Fakbele, the Chief Justice then, Chief Justice. The judiciary was not independent. And he allowed interference and did acts that pleased the president. Um, this, this, the judiciary was not independent when I served, um, when I worked in the judiciary. Because um, aside my experience, 
there were other um, um, there were other incidents happening at the time if, if magistrates can be arrested over decisions taken in court and detained possibly based on executive interference you cannot in any way argue that the judiciary is independent that is total disregard to the, to the doctrine of independence of the judiciary so yes, under under um, Justice Fagbele, the, the judiciary was not independent. Wow, children, Justice Fagbele, in the judiciary, we do not have to Mr. Gomez, can you give us examples of magistrates that were arrested and detained? Mr. Gomez, na ding nyu muna wachi misal ay magistrate yo hamne Japan nengyan teklin be na berip. Yes, that will uh, now. Um, Take me to the arrest of His Worship Omar Jabang and Ibrahim Jaita. Lulmuma, you have to magistrate was Ibrahim Jabang and Omar Naka. Ibrahim Jaita, who is a currently a High Court judge. Ibrahim Jaita, uh, High Court judge. La. Um, when, in fact, the incident of the arrest of Omar uh, Ibrahim Jaita, uh, after Ibrahim Jaita, Japan, who was a magistrate at the time. Nga hamne ni magistrate la jamano bo. Um, really made most of us to be very scared at the time. Uh, and, and at some point we were lost as to what to do. Yes, so the, this incident occurred when I was already um, uh, at traveling magistrate. I was already a traveling magistrate. I recall there was this day that I was coming back home from um, official duties. I was coming back home from official duties. I had just crossed the um, the Barra Banjul ferry. Um, this thing. Mangi just if Jamano Bure Mangi Jalli Chief Banjul Barra ferry. So I received a call from one of my colleagues at the time. One of you was a blessed. Yeah, Jamano Jalli, you you was a blessed. This can is soon now. Let him come call on. That um, she wants also discuss something very important. Neta for Buga Watana man ilu amsolo. I I I crossed over and I um. After going home and then relaxing, I went to see her. Madam, na kiv no pale kututi dal di dem seti ko. And um, we had a discussion, and she informed me. She asked me whether I am aware of the arrest of um, your worship judge at the time. Chila mau yegal na yegga chila mau na yegga Japanen justice judge. I answered in the negative because I was not aware of it. Da bo bo yegu moko yegu moko. So he she explained to me the facts. Chila mau lera dal na surrounding her his arrest. I understand that um, it had to do with a judgment. Or oh, let me say a decision that he took in court. If I, if I recall well, um, he, he struck out a matter. And then um, the, um, the, um, the, uh, they had to arrest him. Based on the fact that he struck out the matter, and he was detained. So Mr. I, Gomez, yes, is it because the state had an interest in the matter that was being handled by the said Mr. that was being handled by the said Mr. Jaita? Lor, hana dafa fe kor nak ne nga hamne mo di ngurge amon ne ajo chi lor nga hamne mo don heo beta hanyo jap Mr. Jaita. Obviously, yes. I do. I do not know the the case in itself in in question. Wow, manane wa na kamo na tapa bo unon chibopam. But I know he was arrested by agents of the state of the police. And so my main interest was that um, regardless of whoever has interest in the matter. I At the time, um, we were only interested in the fact that the arrest was unlawful. And the subsequent detention was also unlawful. Because it was totally wrong to arrest a judicial officer in the cause of his um, duties, official duties. Of course, later we will come to, to come to realize that um, it was a case that the government, of course, had, had an interest in. That was why he was arrested. Mr. Gomez, for clarification, can you indicate what state agents arrested? Your worship, Jaita, at that time. Pulera, Mr. Gomez, I didn't know what happened. I didn't know what happened. 
ñom ñoy ñi nga xamne ñoo jappon sa jayte jamono bobu ay du na do hook conductor di at immediate arrest at the time wa xama nak kan mo def nak japp bobu non ci ci jamono joju but i know um, after was he was arrested by the police wa nak mu jegi ci la xamne dal japp nako di police as can you tell the commission where he was detained ndax di nga mëna wax commission bi bañ ko jappé fan lañ ko tek benn bërëb i believe it was banjul i'm not sure uh, five banjul la way leru Yes because when um when your jabang was arrested he was um he was he was arrested and placed into custody at the serious crime unit in in Banjul. Uh, jabang yi biñ ko jappé ñu ko yobon serious crime unit bi ci Banjul. I I got to know his place of detention because I personally visited him in detention. Ah uh, kamo na mu jégi fan lañ ko tégon ndax mo na séti ko. But for um your worship Ibrahima Djaita as he then was. Eh way nak your worship Ibrahima Djaita comme ni mu nekké won. I never visited him. Mo suma ko dem séti. I only organized the the meeting um of all magistrates at the time. Uh, man ma dama oté won rek meeting ni magistrate yépp ci jamono bobu. And then yes and then um that was where, when we approached the the CJ's office. Té moy jamono biñ aggé ci office ci chief justice bi. Mr Gomez can you tell the commission why you found it necessary to arrange a meeting with all the magistrates? Mr Gomez ndi ñu mëna wax nak lan mo tax nga gis né jarna pour nga oté ndajé bo xamné ya ng ko doon cheikh ak magistrate yi We back then um it was difficult to even um see ourselves as a uni- um, united body as magistrates uh, jamono bo na dana daan jafé pour gis ñu daal né ben non lañ di comme ay magistrate because of um because of the of the problems we were facing at the time ndek jafé jafé yi nga xamné mom lañ doon jam conté ci jamono bobu the the possibility of being victimized for actions you take in court eh té té men nak nga xamné ni mën nañ la lor ci jogo yi nga xamné mom nga jël ci court bi and i can tell you um, with certainty that most magistrates were being careful very careful of the decisions that they take in court especially when they feel that it it, that it attracts uh, executive interest eh té man na la wax fi né magistrate dañ daan bay sen xel bu baaxa baaxa ba ci bolem luñ daan dogal rawatina nak leyo yo xamne ni dal gis nañ ne ngour gang ci tek sen bot and i had already experienced first hand this type of interference from the chief chief justice office who claimed to have um, been called by the president by the time nga xamne ni man sa de ñeuk na am jankonte bu mel non ci jamono bo xamne ni chief justice wan na ne dal call nako nak the office of the president so my opinion was that if that does not stop man nak suma xalal mo ne ko bu fekke lolu taxawuton you will all be subs- you will all be victims subsequently ñun ñepp dañuy mujjé loolu ci lu mel noonu that was what prompted me to organize the meeting li mo taxone mo oté won meeting bo so having done that you met the cj aje ko loolu nak mo tax nga dem ci chief justice yes can you tell us what happened after you met him and who was the cj at that time dañ ñu mëna wax lan xewu ba nga gisé ak mom ak kan moy won chief justice bi jamono bobu the cj at the time is still emmanuel fakbela bété rek emmanuel fakbela mo fa nek chief justice So when I um spoke to um your worship blessed eh bi ma wax ran ak your worship blessed and I said to him that um I had I'm still I, I had gone through a same ordeal eh te ti la ko ne ko nak jafé jafé yoy may daj na ko and I can guarantee her that um if we don't do something about it it will still keep on occurring eh te la ko guarantee ne bu fekké ni dal defuñ ci dara da fay continuer rek de So I saw I started calling some few my my ministers I called um, my friend your worship Abdullah Fati eh ci la o na suma xarit majiste Abdullah Fati I've called other other ministers as well eh ci la o yenen magistrate di tamen she herself called as well um some so, so, some of our colleagues momi tamen mu o yen ci ay moromam I think she she must have posted it on um our chat group eh yaaka na dal daf ko atasare won rek ci fiñ di penti min de waxtane ñun ñep so we took we agreed um, on a date for the meeting at uh, the venue nanguna pour ñu am ben meeting ci ben place we agreed to meet at Carnifin court eh pour ci lañ nanguna dañ tassé Carnifin court so when we met at Carnifin court biñ fa tassé i think most of the magistrates were present lu bari na ci magistrate yi ñu fa téewon because include your worship abdullah fati ndax bokko na ci di abdullah fati yes this he he is he was very present wow wow mu fa téewon Yes, it was he was also seen as one of the radical magistrates at the time. Da moy gisone ne nya ci magistrate de geur bop yi ci la bokkon. Yes, so See, your your lead counsel has just brought me to order. I think I'm in the court that's why I'm saying your worship. Yeah. She have said his worship. His worship, yes. Thank you. You welcome. Thank you. So um Mr. Fa- we all went um to Kanifin court. Ñep ñu dem Kanifin court. But then um the the most senior magistrate at the time 
ki nga xamne ni mo nekkon may jeu bi gëna nako ay jamono bo di mo senior um di mo senior the time ki ñu gëna na nekk khalifa ci jeen um yes ñu ñu fa gëna nekk khalifa at the time wow they were not really um they were not really buying um the our own position um us who was seen as the radical magistrates the the aduñu na ci ñun nga xamne ni moy ñun ñi nga xamne ni ñoy magistrate yi gënona deggal bopu because um some of us were really um advocating um for very very strict um measures ndax ñun da ñu ngi doon éte ci lo xamne ni nak sa tay deggal raglu la this include um even um number one going to see the cj and demanding an immediate immediate um release of um our colleague ya li wina bok na ci dem gis chief justice bi pour ñu mëna baye suñ nawle bobu she will a press release condemning the actions of the executive genn ab cadeau bo xamne dana dem ci buntu tesse kay xibaar di ngagn chief executive bi liñ def even possibly having a sit down strike eh bok na sax mu na ñu amal sax ñu def ben greffe pour tok but then um we could not we could not attend all that why na mu ñu na am yu yeb because uh, even though we had agreed to go and meet the cj nam sax nango on ando nangoto on nañ pour gis chief justice bi some of our seniors at the time um were were really not a buy in the idea of using unconventional means to to address this situation ñen ci suñu khalifa yi nga xamne ño ñoy ñomit ñom dal andu ñon ci suñu khalat bobu nga xamne ni moy jël def yenen khalat pour safara lolu cj being the main supervisor of the courts chief justice nga xamne nak mo moy jité li nga xamne mo di bunté até kay and over the magistrates akit ci kaw li nga xamne sax ñoy até kay até kat yu ndaw yi why did your senior see it as a problem to actually meet him and address your problems that you were facing bon nak lan la chief justice bi gisé won lan mo ci won jafé jafé bi tax be ngeen wara jakkar lok mom ak sen jafé jafé mu war ko safaral i don't understand the question i don't understand the cj according to the constitution yes chief justice bi ci lu nga xamné non la ko loi teralé is the overall head mom moy njid li of all the courts ci attaka yep and he has supervisory té mom moy ki nga xamné mo wara jité and is to administer té mom mo wara doxal the courts ci nga xamné moy ATK yi my question is as magistrates lima laccé comme yeen ay attaquat ngeen if you have issues that you want to address so len amé dara lo xamné bugga ngeen ko waxtané isn't the cj the right person to meet to address those situations ndax nekku né mom chief justice bobu mom ngeen wara gisé pour mëna safaral jafé jafé yoyu very very correct depending on the uh, on the matter um depending on the importance of the matter and there are matters that we will have to see the master of the high court some perhaps js but then uh, matters of this concern can only be addressed by the cj at the time wow lu melni nak chief justice bi rek mom moko monona safara so why were the principal magistrates the most senior magistrates afraid of going to see the cj to address these issues lan mo wara tax ki nga xamne mo jité attaquat yu ndaw yoy yeb moy principal magistrate bi ragalon pour dem gisé ak chief justice bi the the repercussions the 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 um the the consequence of of those actions i'm i'm sure um that would be the reason why they were really much um worried about how we approach the cj so uh, they were not advised to see the cj but how we see the cj how we approach him li ci faxé ko rek mom lañ doon baye xel euh mo taxon sax ñuy jall na ñun naka lañu gisé cj bi some of these um, magistrates had been serving there for a very long period of time 5 years 6 7 years amna ñen ci atekat yoy yo xamne ni yag nañ ci bu baaxa baaxa du dem ci juroom ben we juroom ñaari at some some of them had families wives and children am ño xamne ni am nañ ay njobot jawar ak ay dom some of some of us at the time were very single am na ño xamne ni nak amuñ jawar so 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 maybe i will say that maybe perhaps um rightly so or wrongly so maybe they were putting into consideration so many reasons and so they were fearful of maybe losing their jobs ah ya kan na bo ñu ngi ragal pour ñak seen liggey being sanctioned eh wala ñu tong leen and being wrongly um being yes being wrongly sanctioned ya ñu tong leen tong bo xamne dal da pout ak yoon so it it appears as if this were the worries eh ya kan na dal li mo nekkon seen jax jax so mr gomez would it be correct to say that because these issues could not be arrested um arrested man mu ne ñaw wax na mr gomez comme ka mbir momu na munuñ ko na safaral and you could not meet with the cj on these issues that the magistrates were facing te munu len wona gisante ak chief justice bi lu aju ci li nga xamne mo dan dal magistrate yi other magistrates were also arrested because of judgments that they gave te rawul amna ñeneeni attekat muy ay magistrate yo xamne ñun len tie ngir dogal bo xamne mom lañ jël 
I mean, yes, yes, yes to the second tier of your question, but yes, we, we end up seeing the CJ. Wow, Mujegina, the Gisnan Chief Justice. Yes, we, 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 we end up having a demanding for a meeting with the Chief Justice. Yeah, Mujegita, Chakuna Impur, I'm Jotai, Active Justice. Tell the Commission what happened in that meeting. Well, Commission Melana held the meeting, Bobo. Yes, so we, we pressed on, on we, because the meeting was very lengthy. Um, we first met um, among ourselves, the, 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 the magistrates. Uh, and then um, it was then I realized that I, perhaps because I was always seen as the most stubborn at the time. But then I could tell you that there were some other colleagues of mine who were really, really um, adamant on making sure that, that the right thing the, the right has been done. Yes, um, you are from Jabang, um, other, you are from Fatih. Blessed and, and some other few few of our colleagues who were really Blessed. Um, who would really condemn the, these actions in no uncertain terms. So we pushed to go and see the CJ. In fact, we demand that we will see the CJ on, on the same date um, after the meeting. Uh, then we see the CJ after the meeting. Then we decided that we will have um, we will write the names of all the the meeting. But then we decided that we will have um, we will write the names of all. The, 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 the magistrates present at the time so that we wouldn't have people to back out by the time we reach Banjul. So, so we did that and then we did that and then some of us who had uh, uh, who were driving the official vehicles by that time had to um, we all just hop in and then drove to Banjul. And um, we demanded that we must meet the CJ. Yeah, so we didn't have some time. Um, we were given audience. And when the meeting started, the meeting be door Um, there were some of our colleagues were 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 addressing the, um, the, this, the concerns we have raised in, in our in our own exclusive meeting. I recall your worship Blessed also spoke about our, our our problems at the time and then the arrest of the of your your worship Jaita. His worship um Jaban who's still serving as a magistrate also who will be subsequently be arrested also um, was speaking in, the, in that meeting. Condemning the actions of the executive in the arrest of our colleague. the actions of the executive in the arrest of our colleague. Demanding, demanding that, the, that the judicial administration that in the presence of the CG address the, the, the situation and the problem fought with. So we, I also recall my, um, His Worship um, Abdullah Fatih also speaking in the meeting, talking about it. Uh, Abdullah Fatih, but before he spoke, um, the CJ made a point that His Worship Abdullah Fatih also spoke in the meeting. But before he spoke, um, the CJ made some comments. Chief Justice because Fakbele, um, um, in, in addressing so, so, some of the comments from um, some of our colleagues, uh, said, um, well, I will paraphrase, was saying that um, um, we have to learn to, to obey instructions and be careful as to the, uh, as to the judgments that we deliver. That we must always weigh the interests of the of, of the government. That there is no point of being stubborn or trying to prove a point. He compared the situation to because he likes he likes giving proverbs, so he compared the situation to a child who finds himself in a in a pond of crocodiles or a pool of crocodiles. Who will dip his hand to try to save the child? The message was very, very clear. That the, pull of, that, that the child would have been um, any message who has been detained in this time, um, just, um, 
sa jaita ne xale bobu dey moy ki moy moy magistrat bobu nga xamne mom lañ japp jamono joju and the, the pull of clock that would, would, would be of course the government eh tay tay men jessi ji ko worna ka amna moy ngor gi so he will not dip his hand to save anybody eh kon na mom du dugal lo xam pour jema so we can so his advice would be for us to be cautious and be and to listen to advice eh moy na suñ lim ñu wax na moy nek nañ baye xel tay tay men di deg ndigal mr gomez are you telling this commission that justice fakbele at the time wanted you all to be a rubber stamp judiciary ndax uh, uh, mr gomez da ñu bëgga wax né eh, fakbele jamono ju dafa bëggon ko xamné rek ni ngeena atté da ngeen ko jël ci wali ndigal ngeen defé ko non yes in relation to the to the law bench as the magistrates uh, i think um, maybe you'll have the judge to comment it if i don't know how the argument is but for us at the lower bench at the time that was exactly you are very correct waaw kon na non la yo way fekk ci ñun magistrate nekkon ci suu mom lool li nga wax deugal so I, Yes, go ahead. Cancel. Did he take any action to facilitate the release of your worship jaite? Da amna yen jego yo len jël na pour ñu mëna bayyi yo worship jaite. I don't think so. I don't have any evidence that he he um he took some action in the, in 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 the subsequent release of the um his worship worship jaite. Foko mako de ndax gisuma ben firnde bo xamne ni jël wone na ne mom jël na ay jego pour ñu mëna bayyi justice jaite. Even though um at the end of the meeting he pleaded he said that he would um, try to see what he can do eh ci njertel meeting bi sa dafa wax rek ne dal ah dana set dal lu meuna def but yes you want to ask a question i was just going to refer to your statement dama doon bugga jem rek ci li nga xamne moy cadeau yi nga binda you indicated that fakbele wax nga fane fakbele said he would try and beg the president ne mom dina jema ñaan president bi and then get back to you ba pare dina len wax lu ci faxe ko Don't Can you explain on that further? Then you mona gena lera la lolu. Yes, that was very very correct. In fact, this happened at the time um some of our senior ministers at the time would would plead to him and then inform him that they know he can do something about it. Wow, li moy jamono bi nga xamne ni yenn kelif njitil ministre yoy da nañ ko wax ne ko dal waxtan ak mom nexal ko wax ko ne ko dal amna lum ci mëna def. Because they were they were more diplomatic than some of us. Ndax ñom dal ño genona ay am yar ci ligue wax yene de ñun not 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 am yar am diplomatic yes they 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 try to say it in a very nice way ah mom moy am yar rek fine that's fine all right anyways um um so apparently that, that was a time that he he made those he made those similar comments lool moy jamono bi waxe cadeau yoyu can you tell this commission how long justice um your worship jaita was detained da di nga mëna wax commission bi justice jaité mom bi ñu dir lañ ko japp we receive information that he was detained at serious crime in banjo jot nañ xibar nak woné né fiñ ko tié won moy serious crime unit bu banjo um i think he was detained for some i think some days i'm not sure exactly how many days but because after the the um the meeting i had to go back to to farafeña ga uh, gannaaw meeting bi nak dama delu watum farafeña wax nay dal japp nañ ko ci ay fan Yes I I can vividly recall but not exactly how many days. Way nak muna fatale kulul da way xamuma nak ñaata fan. But then in fact um, before before in the inter, the intervention of some of our senior colleagues. Yeah way nak bala suñ yenen khalifa yi di ci dugal sen loxo rek um in, in trying to um sweet talk um the CJ at the time fak bela to to try to do something about the situation. Eh pour nexal nak chief justice bi pour mu jema def dara. When he when the CJ made the comment that we must always look at the, in, uh, the interest of the government at the time. Eh jamono bi nga xamé né wax na ling né dal dañ waro na baye xel rek li haju ci ngour gi waxtu wu né. And we must consult before we deliver certain judgments. Eh té fok ci ñuy diso bala ñoy dogal. I was sitting in the meeting with with um his worship Fati. Eh ma ngi togo nak his worship Fati ci meeting bi. Because I can't recall even speaking at the, I don't think I even spoke at the meeting. Eh fu mu ma Fati ndax man sa wax na sa ci meeting bi because it was very expected i would even speak in the meeting so definitely i was really really impressed with some of our colleagues who were really who were really brave in addressing the issues la sentu won nañ sax ne dana wax de way ndax nak ma ngi doylo wano na suma yenen morom yi nga xamne ni wax nañ ci meeting bi because when um when when his worship jabang spoke in very strong terms and condemned these actions eh jamano bi nga xamne ni his worship jabang wax na ci ay cadeau yi wer di ngagni nak lolu and the cj made these comments eh tay chief justice wax cadeau yi i recall his worship party um stood up and then also um 
was making some comments as well. Chila Gisrek, his was a fatty mommy doctor, mommy dewa aika do mommy temen. And if I'm allowed to paraphrase, paraphrase, I think he was he said to the CJ that um, why should we deliver judgments or make decisions um, and, and then considering the interest of the president? Who is the president? Chila fatty gula wah na kadu ine mau lan mau ita nyun sunyi def ay dogal di bayi kel lujem cimbiri cok haju si presiden bi kan mau presiden bi that we must be independent in additions. Fox ini nyun dog hak sunyi cakon nak si sunyi def sunyi dogal. So I recall pulling his suit and telling him, my friend, you're really going too far. Chila aku kacian nak si suit ambil nak aku semua aja yangi yangi suruh suri de. That they always say I'm, I, I, I am very stubborn, but this this is just too far from you. Just too much. Then jangan ada mager bapu wah na bi mom suring. Yeah, so um, so that that Mr. was how. Gomez, it, yes. Was he wrong in the statement that he made before the CJ? Mr. Gomez, na hello, lu da fa jum, da da linga ham na moy kadu in wachi kanam CJ. He was absolutely correct. Yeah, no, kai mom correct one. I didn't even expect any, anything less from him. I, I, I was just impressed with the fact that there were some of my colleagues who were really brave and really courageous in, 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 in speaking truth to power. And so it was a relief to see some of our colleagues um, to, to not be alone in the ship. Yeah, so basically that, 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 that was the rationale behind my reaction to it. Was it also the fact that you were afraid of what might happen to him after that meeting? Oh yes, I, I will not naturally be... Um, I would nat naturally say the same thing, but when, when it comes to somebody, I really care for. So, of course, yes, I was really, uh, um, really worried because he was really just being very direct and very raw, as um, if you allow me to, to use the word. And it was, it was absolutely correct. It is therefore correct that you're telling this commission that you got nothing fruitful from that meeting from Fakbele. Kon muna nyo wah ne munga wah komision bi ne sen daje bo mungen non de fak bele amulen dara lo ne sohla da luci faheko. Absolutely, absolutely correct because when we when the meeting at I think ended in the evening around eight o'clock or so or there about. Ah, the no lo wah dah meeting bi dem na be bori jurum ya cawat susun gon ti jamono bo. So when we were out of the office, um, some of us were trying to um trying to talk to some of our colleagues and to see. Um, what would be the next step? But then you can clearly see that most most of our colleagues were not really willing to take it any further. Yeah, uh, I didn't get that one. I said when we were out of the meeting, meeting, some of us were talking to some of our colleagues to see how best we can take it further. But it was clear that um, most of our colleagues were were really worried about taking the the matter to uh, to another level. Why nak ni ni mungkin wana ni ni situ ni nak oleh yep ni kita don dia macam dal ni kita don am jah jah le fana ni mana agal eli num kena kawe. So yes, it died a natural death. Cina nula muda direct. As per your statement, you've indicated that there were two other magistrates who were arrested that you know of. Sekarang dia wah ngafir tapi ni am naya ni ari magistrate di Jepun yo am naya yo am galen. I I I think the two that were arrested were um his was it was it um. Jaite and his worship, um, Jabang. I am not sure that I, I, I mistakenly mentioned some other third person. No, that is correct. You, well, in your statement, you indicated that Jabang, your worship Omar Jabang, was arrested. Ibrahim Jaite. Yes. Omar Jabang and Ibrahim Jaite. That's correct. And you further <coughs> indicated that an executive directive was received on your worship. Abdullahi Fati. Can you tell the commission about these two? In the in the manner of um, the, the the executive directive received by or received or seen by his worship um, Fati. Uh, this I recall came out of a discussion we I had with him. Because we were very close at the time. And so we always discuss our problems um, um, during the course of our work. And so we always discuss our problems during the course of our work. 
I, rec I, I forgot the name of the case um, that, um, that, that had been an issue, but apparently um, he was, he was an executive director was, was brought to him and showed to him by one police officer. Yes. Can you tell the commission where the executive directive came from? I mean, his watch for the party will tell me that um, as far as he was concerned, the information he received from the officer prosecuting the case at the time. Yes. He said to him that it was from the office of the president. And he refused, he, um, his watch father refused to, to, to receive the, 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 the executive order, I think. But this arises out, uh, out of a discussion I had with him. Therefore, you're telling this commission that it was not unusual for magistrates to receive executive directives. As to how? to conduct their cases and also to influence the decision that they should make. <coughs> um, it, I would say it was not um, unusual for there to be interference in, in, uh, in the manner in which we administer our, uh, the, our case at the time. I, I will say it was not unusual for there to be But um, as you can see from the executive directive that you have just shown me, most of these directives don't really come directly to us magistrates. Yes, like I said, um, in fact, the one you showed me, I've just seen it um, in, 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 the, in the tribunal here. In the commission. In the commission. I apologize. Thank you. In your statement, you referred to a problem that you encountered with the NIA. Is that correct? That's correct. Can you tell the commission about it? Um, the issue regarding the NIA was prior to my, to my transfer um, to SAO Mazakoka Nyomi. In fact, I had just delivered a, judge, um, a, a judgment in default of appearance. Uh, I, I, I had just delivered a judgment in default of appearance of the defendant. Uh, the, the, the judgment I delivered, I mean, um, was one that, that we call um, judgment in default, meaning um, the defendant did not appear, but we still gave judgment. Um, because there was a law, um, the, the law is very clear on, 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 on those situations. So I come in, one day I was just coming from, I think a day or two after, or, or thereabout, I was just coming from from the courthouse. Yes, on the way back to the courthouse, I think it was about a week or so. I can't recall the exact date, but then I was coming back home and I received a call. From a, from a private number. And um, the, the caller happened to be someone I know. He even testified um, um, before the TRRC. Um, but two months ago. Um, um, and he said to me that um, he was the one who was um, responsible for the execution of the order. Yes, but he testified in a, in, in a matter of the, of the alleged execution of, um, of the Ghanaians. And that's Usman Jallo. That's Usman Jallo. So he called and he introduced himself. As an NIA operative, um, either overseeing or, 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 or being the director of, of operations at the time. That, that 
um, and that he had received the, the office of the DG NIA had received a complaint about a judgment I delivered. And the office the DG NIA did not tawat ne ti dogal bo xamne def na ko ci code bi. So Mr. Gomez now we've moved from judicial interference by the CJ. Legi nak taxu na ñak ci li nga xamne modi si chief justice limo dugal ge meñam ci atté bi. The NIA interfering into judgments of the court. Legi nak ñu ñew fi NIA ñom tamit li ñoo dugal seen loxo ci atté bi ñoo def ci court yi. Very correct. Wow. Tell this commission what the NIA officer Usman Diallo told you. Wahal commission bi Usman Diallo mo muy liggey NIA lan la la wax bimu la téléphoné. Yes, so he called me and he informed me about the orders that he had received. Ci la ma call wax man ak dogal bi digal bi nga xamné ni mom la jot. I'm from his boss. Ci bossam that I should be invited to the NIA premises. Dañ ma wara o nak ci NIA seen place that if I refuse I should be arrested. Né suma bañé dañ may japp. And so he 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 explained, he sent to me that I know you you don't know I work for the NIA but apparently I I work for the NIA. Tilamo ane nak jahamo ane mangeli ge NIA na kama ne mangeli ge NIA. Um, because I had met him at the University of the Gambia. He was studying law at the time. Tete tete men nak fekan tete nchi University bu Gambia nyunge jang nyunge jang luwa jamano bobo. When I um used to go there um as a lecturer invited to lecture on certain. Topics. Yeah, ti jamano bo hamne dajma fadan o madam put jungle fasi ane topiki. And so we spoke, and and then he he said to me that um well that is his order, but then I explained to him he what happened. Ti la ma wah nang ne malul mo in dogalam wa ti la ko lela la lekau. And I told him that well, but you guys don't have to call me. Ti la ko ane wa ye na waru leon ma wo. Let the um let the complainant go and appeal. Na ki ki tawat nang ne dem the appeal. Appeal. Besides, you guys don't even have to, um, powers to to interfere in, in these situations. He said to me that he he advised the same to the to the DG. But then the, the director wouldn't just listen. Why not director be that he himself believed that um, um, they should not interfere. But then, since he was only um, only carrying um, um, orders, and that mom dal doga regla ne kondi dohal jamano bobo. But he said to me that I should now come and meet him. Why not? Chila wana fimne kini na ko ra dem fake fake kiko. Possibly um, at his house. Bene dal si negam. Instead of coming to um, the the NIA premises. Ne bala mai dem dal si NIA. Mr. Gomez, were you asked to report to the NIA headquarters in Banjo? Mr. Gomez, I didn't know that you were going to move to the Macan NIA. Banjo, catch a Banjo. Yes, that was his first instruction. Wow, so we were going to conduct a lamb jack. Okay, you may continue. Yes, but subsequently, as we discussed over the matter, he said he suggested that um, um, I should go to his house. Well, he 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 knew me personally. Ah, uh, that we just got to be what time we had them to kill him. And that man came to my mom's house. So I went. Di mana me? Si keram? Di bijulo. Di bijulo. And then I was really worried. Maja hale on lol. Because even though he knew me, but we are not friends. Nam sa kam nama wai nene kunyon ay kariti temen. I didn't even know much about him. Kamu mo kububa. And to visit someone who was working for the NIA in that position at the time. Purseti na ko kam ni mugi lige NIA si jaman ubu. Concerning matters that you were um, you were asked to report to the NIA was really worrying. So to not be more calm than it all, Mugi James, Mugi Ajona, the NIA, neck and lose your hold. I went and then and then when he directed me to his house, I went to the gate and then he came out. Yeah, be more difficult than Kiram Fanla neck, Madam Naksi Buntu, Mugi Ogin. And then um, he asked that I drive my that my official car inside his house and park it there. Chila mo ane na dugal na sumo auto si Kiram. Because I had a judiciary number plate. And that man, I'm not number plate. But I'm not the judiciary. La, we don't really get at the end. So it was not safe um, that that um, that NIA operators may see may see my car in his in his house, and then they may um, send a very a very wrong information to the to the uh, data general at the time. Tell them when they move to the NIA, you get auto judiciary. So we don't care about that. Lol, we're not like law. I'm not going to just say, but I can do a good thing. Boss, I'm. So 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 many things were going on in my head at this. At this time, Lubari dal muge dem si sumat kel mi jamano bo. Um, but then I, since I came all the way to the gate, I decided to just 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 um, abide by um, his um, his suggestion and then just drive in. Mane makala mane kom kenyu na bisi buntu keram kain. Film nake ni ba ema defregling wa. 
So I, I went in and then we had a very lengthy discussion. But I was still stressing on the on the point that he was really um, the NIA does not really have powers to even call uh, to call me and ask and ask me to explain certain decisions that I took, took in court. When my digger rek ne dal NIA amun ben dole pour call ma di lache dogal binga kalmi mumla jail si court be. And he said to me that he, he, he agreed with me and then definitely he will go back and then try to solve the matter with the DJ. Tila wa muje wa made dal and nag yo legi dana del wa tidi director bidal wa tan ag mumlum bir mujem simbir me. And then when, when, when I went home the following day he called me and said to me well he has solved the matter with the director general. Che be made me nag tila ma telephone nag mune ma wa tan nag director general bis. And that and, and and since then I haven't heard of the matter. Che de pibu be legi nag dega tu ma daral lo jem simbir mum. Mr. Gomez, will be correct to say that you escaped? Mr. Gomez, what do you want to say about Richa? Going to the NIA headquarters? Richa for them to make an NIA. Because you knew the agent that called you? That is the only reason why I escaped that. That is the only reason why I escaped that. Because um, he even told me that prior to them um, contacting me, because there was no way they could have had my number. Uh, Undol wah nama itu memang selalu jitu nak balas nyai oh nak mau amuton ken kok am am semua nombor that um that agents were sent to the CJ's office. Ne am nanyo am nanyo cen lagi kadi nyungle nyonyo chief justice officer about this matter and the CJ would 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 tell them that they can go ahead and and deal with the matter because I was very stubborn. Ya, teh teh men nak CJ bila ah lene am nanyo konde dah man dah mende geron bob. Ya, so 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 basically um that was the only reason why I why I evaded arrest. Mr. Gomez, thank you very much for coming today. Mr. Gomez, I hand over the witness to the commissioners. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, my counsel, and uh, thank you, Mr. Patrick Gomez, for your testimony. Thank you very much. Quite an intrigue, um, uh, all these uh, differences with uh, um, you personally and uh, with the system, it's extraordinary. Commissioner, if you have any questions, please indicate. Commissioner Kai, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank you to Mr. Mr. Gomez, my very good brother and friend. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for coming to testify before the commission. I want to commend you for the good work um, that you have done. And for standing up for the right things. And it's not a surprise to me because I've known you since childhood. You grew up together in Joswam. I just have one small question. Who was the NIA director when the issue was when you were uh, called by Mr. Jalo? Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Commissioner Ka. I really am I'm, I'm grateful to, to appear before the commission and then to see you as a commissioner. Um, if I may, may say this thing before I answer the question, um, is that um, um, the reason why the Regarding the, 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 who, was, who the director was at the time, um, if, you, if, the if you will per per permit me, I may not want to answer the question. The reason being, I had been, when I resigned from the judiciary at the time, funnily enough, I had been, I had worked as a defense attorney. And I represented some of these NIA people in the case of um, in the case of Solo Sandeng for, for three good years. Uh, 
Cimbiri solo sanding di dalam nyata at. In fact, I was the I was um, jointly with the, the, the lawyer for this, the second accused person, Louis Mendy, for three good years. Munga kami nene mana kon lawyer ini, munga kami nene buat kon nanti nintu malu Louis Mendy, nanti nyari at. So consequently, I've uh, I've in one way or the other defended these people as well. Tete men kon dapat mendy rek tahawal nanti agnu munti mel. In your, with your kind permission, I would want to respectfully decline to answer the question. Chika, o tontunak dama buga anda kaya rek banyak tontunak salah tebu bujere je. Commissioner Kaa, are you satisfied with that, or can he write it um, uh, yes. uh, on a piece of paper, if you say? And I would um, uh, instruct him to do so. Which one? With your permission, yeah, he can write it down. On a piece of paper? Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm very pleased. Thank you so much for that understanding. You're not writing it on a nap on a napkin, are you? <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Gomez. I, Imam, see you have the floor, please. <coughs> Mam sisa mai ekbi. Jadi jauh si testify ekbi. Thank you very much for testifying. Aku sawa you are ready. With all the police orders you said here. You malay dengar al moy. What I am to declare here is. Ila sowe si auto bunyul bu. What save you from that tinted vehicle? Moy ati bujup binga ati. It's only the correct judgment that you have done. <coughs> and the advice you took from your parents that you have to spend the night wherever you were. Those are the two things that keep you up to here where you are now. Uh, always be truthful. And you always adhere to whatever your parents tell you. Wangana sa papa defde defde fikisi sa ati yubari. You say that your father used to witness all some of your cases. Ko indi fufu yob defde iragal na nga banya jum. All what brought him there is to guide you. Lolo re mo ko yobu fufu. That's the only thing that took him there. Do ne defai tito ro ne lawyer nga wala lenen nga. Not that he is proud of you that you are a lawyer or not. Nga baisi kelchi lolo na kubwa. So you have to be full of that one. Jere yob. Thank you. Jerejev, Commissioner, si, kontana terap si Arab. Thank you. If there are no further questions, um, uh, Mr. Gomez, if you have concluding remarks to make, you may please proceed now to make them. Sir Gomez, so ame yenen kadu na komla teje hana kadu yomuna teje munga kode. Yes. Um. Shortly, I will just want to thank you very much, Commissioner. Ah, si. Mangli na mangla giren tigata rek mangi giren mangli na giren buba. I thank all the commissioners present. Mangi giren keli fa inga kamne nyosya kepenjum tiara simi. For your patience and your time. Eh chisen tewa eh chiwatu. My learned senior, thank you so much for your time. Ah, suma keli fa maite men mangla giren. And everyone working um at the TRRC. Akimbo lem nyosya kamne nyosya ligi si TRRC. I will want to say that. Ndama buga wahne. Um, since we are we are moving towards a new page, uh, to, to come, to the, the, the German US. it is quite important um, for us to understand the sense of patriotism. Uh, the concept that collective <laughs> collective interest should always outweigh individual interest. Uh, to um, go back to the basic. Um, to the basic guiding principles of our religion and our culture. Chilenga kamne ni lola nyusu ada aksu indine one and to have the best interests of each other at heart. Tete men kenu kune krek am daldi am chofeli moromam. I believe that um this if we all do it. Yaka na ni nyunye buinde feli. The country will move forward. Yaka na ni dario mi dene dem kanam. Um so because sometimes it is not only bravely bravely or being courageous. Dah nak kuleg, ni mana jauh ni ni agam jambar lah rek. 
but the over, overwhelming interest that there has to be the collective good um, it has to be protected um, that being said i thank you once again and i am grateful for your time thank you so much